A disc is initially rotating clockwise around a fixed axis with angular speed omega naught. At time t equals zero, the two forces of F sub one is equal to 20 newtons and F sub two is equal to 10 newtons are exerted on the disc as shown in the figure below. So these are the magnitudes, but here they show the magnitude and the direction. And they say which graph could show the angular velocity of the disc over time. So before I even show you the options, let's see if we can just sketch it ourselves. So pause this video and see if you can sketch the angular velocity of the disc over time. All right, so in our vertical axis here, let's put our angular velocity. And then in our horizontal axis here, we want to see how that changes over time. So what is our initial angular velocity? Well, they tell us that our angular speed is omega naught, and the direction is in the clockwise direction. They tell it right over there. And the typical convention is that clockwise, clockwise is negative, and counterclockwise would be positive. So we're starting at a negative, negative angular velocity. So we're starting at a negative angular velocity. Let's see right, right over there. And it actually would be negative omega naught. I'll just write negative omega naught. Remember, omega naught is the speed, the angular speed. So it's the magnitude of the angular velocity. But since we're going clockwise, it would be negative. So we're going to start right there. And now let's see what the net torque is. F1, we're assuming, goes straight down, and it's perpendicular to the radius. Let's call that r, that length r. And F2 is straight down. It's perpendicular to the radius. But F1 is providing a torque in the counterclockwise direction, while F2 is providing a, a torque in the clockwise direction. And the way it's depicted, F1 is larger, and they're both r away from the center of rotation. So your net torque is going to be counterclockwise. It's going to be against the direction or the starting direction of rotation. And so if your net torque is counterclockwise, so we could say our net torque is going to be positive. Positive. And if our net torque is positive, that means that our angular acceleration is going to be positive. And our angular acceleration is just the rate of change of our angular velocity. And this is going to be constant, assuming that these forces are constant. And so you're going to see this. We're going to be rotating clockwise at a slower and slower rate until all of a sudden the wheel switches direction and then, or the disc switches directions, and then all of a sudden we are rotating counterclockwise. So it would look something like that. So let's see which of these choices fit. So if we look at all of them, this looks almost exactly like we drew. But let's just review what these other ones are saying. This one is implying here that you're starting off going clockwise, but then you're accelerating in the clockwise direction. And that wasn't the direction that the net torque was being applied in, so we rule that out. This assumes that you're starting in the counterclockwise direction, which we know is not the case. This assumes that you're starting in the counterclockwise direction, and then you are, and then you are accelerating in the clockwise direction. And you would have picked this if you got your convention mixed up between counterclockwise and clockwise and which one is positive or negative. But we can rule that one out in the choice is A.